Good afternoon, I'm Alice Hewitt and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. In our top story today, the RCMP has charged 19-year-old Stefan Arturo Solis Reyes in connection with the Heartbleed bug. The bug was responsible for 900 social insurance numbers being stolen from the Canada Revenue Agency website. The RCMP released a report stating that Solis Reyes is facing one count of unauthorized use of a computer and one count of mischief in relation to data. He is the first person to be arrested in connection with the bug and is scheduled to appear in court in Ottawa in July. The Windsor Express is turning out to be a local sports success story. Joe Elliott reports. The Windsor Express were fighting to stay alive in the playoffs Tuesday, April 15th at the WFCU Centre. The Express entered Game 6 of the championship round with their backs against the wall in an everything-or-nothing effort against the Island Storm. Facing elimination, the Express started off with a lead and kept adding to it to win the game 107-88. to It's no secret that the Express have had trouble gaining a fan bases with their average attendance being 350 people. But the Game 6 crowd of 2,109 were just as much a part of the game as the team was. So fans are always important. I mean, that's pretty um, cut and dry. You always need your fans to make up your um, organization as a whole. They're your sixth man. Windsor finished the regular season with a central conference record of 29-11 and, and an overall record of 39-17. and 17. They beat the Mississauga Power in the first round in three games and edged out the London Lightning in seven games to make the final round of the 2014 playoffs. The Express won the opening game of the championship round at home, but quickly fell behind to the Storm, losing three in a row. Facing elimination in games five and six, Windsor won two in a row to force a game seven against the Storm Thursday, April 17th at the WFCU Center. The game plan is to come out and uh, have fun. Have fun, relax, compete, 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 and just enjoy the moment. Point guard Darren Duncan helped lead the team to a win with a double-double of 15 points and 12 assists. After the game, he was awarded with the Windsor-Essex Sports Person of the Year Award for Male Athlete of the Year. It's a great award. Anytime you get recognized, it's a great, it's a great thing as far as uh, the community recognizing your hard work and dedication to the game and recognizing the organization as well because uh, they put in a lot of hard work to get to this point for, for me to get recognized, so I gotta thank them for the award as well. For Mediaplex News Now, I'm Joseph Elliott. A Windsor teen is being touted as a future leader by McLean's Magazine. 16-year-old Alex Deans of Windsor is a grade 11 student at Academy St. Cecile and has been named one of Canada's future leaders by the magazine. Alex is being recognized for his achievements in science and technology, specifically his development of a navigation device to help the visually impaired. Windsor's waterfront has plans to be a bigger part of the art community. Murad Azinchlioglu reports. Windsor's riverfront sculpture garden will be brought to life this September with the debut of Waves Festival. Headed up by the City of Windsor Parks and Rec Department, the festival will host a variety of culturally based projects based around sculptures and locations in the park. With a total budget of $100,000, the city is currently seeking applications for creative talents of any ilk for funding grants up to $4,000. The deadline for submissions is April 30th. The festival will run on September 26th and 27th with an estimated 25 projects spread across the riverfront from Ambassador Bridge to the Art Gallery of Windsor. Respected musician and educator Brent Lee has already been tapped for the event's closing. For more information, adjust your web browser to citywindsor.ca. For Mediaplex News, I'm Marauder Zinchlioglu. Now on to weather. Today it will be 13 degrees with cloudy periods. Overnight, it will be a high of 7 with variable cloudiness. Friday will be 14 with showers. I'm Alice Hewitt. Thanks for tuning in. This is our last midday newscast. You've been watching Mediaplex live at 1.